I don't know how many thousands of people are here, but we have a big turnout here. It's phenomenal. It's great so far. The gutted bus is killing it. You know, I've been having a line out there this whole time. Like you guys can see the grounds a lot better up here. It's freaking awesome. I wish everybody could come out and enjoy one of these events. You learn so much, you meet great people. At Colorado Tiny House Festival, morning of day one. And this is my setup. <laughs> Show you guys that everybody else is setting up. Kind of everybody else. Not that I don't need to. It's just I've done so many of these shows. It's okay. You take your time. This is my setup right here. This is coffee, cold brew. Cold brew coffee I've bought. I'm not gonna be able to get to every structure. It's really hard for me to actually vlog at these festivals because my estimate is somewhere around 20,000 people over the course of two days. Uh, there's a lot of questions, mingling. Uh, it's, it's a great time uh, and I wanna try to have my undivided attention to them. Uh, no offense to everybody here that's watching. People always ask, where can you get these festivals? Word of mouth, you gotta also check the internet. Just do a search on Tiny House Festival uh, or van life gathering or, you know, bus life, you know, gathering, whatever you want, you can find. Now, when it says Tiny House Festival, there's always buses, vans, other structures, typically at those. Usually they have a DIY village or a DIY area or DIY participants. DIYer, DIYer, DIYer. There's a bunch of DIYers over there. And then these, all these tinies back here, those are all pros. You know, uh, there's a couple pros that are on the other side over there, I'll show you. Um, that's a professional company down here. There's a professional van company on the other end of the festival grounds as well. There's vendors here. So typically they are open to the public. Um, they're a great time. If you try to go to a local one, uh, a lot of them allow camping. There's not so many on the East Coast. Most of them are predominantly West Coast, but I think the East Coast is coming because I moved there. I'm <laughs> just kidding. That's like the most egotistical thing ever. All right, guys, I'm going to show you guys my digs when I'm in and what, you know, why, why I'm here, like what I'm sleeping in over the weekend. Because if you know my channel, like and subscribe, then you would know that uh, I don't have a rig right now. I'm building a tiny house and I have a Rivian that I just got that's that's not equipped yet for camping. I am in the gutted bus and that is what I am staying in while I'm here at Colorado Tiny House Festival. Was coming out to this festival, I reached out to the producers of gutted and I said, hey guys, would you like me to take the bus to the event to promote season two. And they said, yeah, we, we'd love you to do that. So I flew to Kansas City, drove the bus from Kansas City to Denver, which is about an eight hour drive. I am now here camping in the gutted bus. If you've watched the show, you would know that I wasn't on the bus team and I was on the van team. So some of you may be asking, why didn't you bring the van here? The van was being used and unfortunately I wasn't able to bring the van because somebody else is using it. I took the bus instead. I haven't really been in it since the premiere and since uh, the show itself. So it's been a while since I've been in here. Sleeping in it the last couple nights, it's been really nice actually. Uh, this is an elevator bed. This is what I've been sleeping on. Uh, they did a roof raise in this bus, a shorty. So it's like not, you know, it's a, like, I can think it's the F350 or whatever it is, the 350, but it's got a great motor. It's a diesel motor. It the, it's a beast. Really well done. I'm about to take a shower actually. The shower's behind me right here. So it's a huge shower. As you guys can see, a lot of seating area underneath the bed, which is, I'll lower it in a second for everybody. This also converts into another bed. So they have a bunk bed system uh, for people that want to take out families, like some work in here. You can see my laptop on the thing. Uh, I've got the windows open right now to kind of get a cross breeze in here. But what's been the game changer is this guy right here, which is they put a mini split AC in. The only downfall of having a mini split like that is you pretty much need to be plugged in to be running it. And you need to be plugged into a, I believe a 30 or a 50 amp outlet. Right now I'm only plugged into a 20 amp. So it technically with it running will drain the batteries because there's more amperage being pulled than there is amperage going in. So I, you have to make sure that you're plugged into a pretty much a campsite. Right now I'm plugged into like just a regular 20 amp, you know, circuit at home. Obviously you can tell that my coffee is kicked in, which is great. This is my storage in here uh, for all my clothes. It's a little messy because I'm trying to be real with you guys, but 
honestly, like they, the 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 team from Gutted did a phenomenal. All three teams did a phenomenal job, but the the bus team did a really really good job. I like it a lot. The carpentry is ridiculously good. Obviously, my boy Shane was on this team. He was part of the carpentry, uh, but I believe Kevin was their main person. It was like he's just a master carpenter, master woodworker. Um, but it's it's really well done. Oh, I, t I said I was going to lower this. So the button is right here for everybody. And you know, what? I am going to critique one thing. I'm going to critique one thing and possibly Chris and the rest of the team from the gutted is going to get a little upset with me. I don't like two things, actually. Two things. I'm going to stop the bed right there, but it goes all the way pretty much down to here. So two things I don't like about the, the bus. And this was kind of a rush thing. They built this in five days. You can only do so much, right? And this is just me nitpicking, so it's not a big, big deal. So when you walk into the bus, which is right here, this is the door that opens up. When you walk in, for me, right when you walk into your home, you want to have light switches. So I would have put the light switches on this wall or somewhere over here or even like right here. I would have put the light switches. Unfortunately, to get to the light switches are all the way in the back, back here. So you have to walk in. You have to walk down the aisle. Now, if there's nothing here and it's dark, then you're not going to trip over anything. But if there's something there, you could trip over something. So these are the light switches right here, you know. And then this is the up and down bed switch. All these switches are back here, probably because it's easier to run all the wiring, the battery systems back there. That was probably the reason. And again, we only had five days to do this. Um, but in the van, we had light switches a little bit easier for everybody. Anyways, then there's only two 110 outlet outlets so there's one there and there's one there that's it there's no usb ports there's only you know i'm plugged in usb right here so they have to have the inverter on at all times so this is me nitpicking but i have to show some things i didn't like because i was on the bus team <laughs> so i'm sorry to the bus team members but again we only had five days to do this uh, we were planning things on the fly. We were changing things on the fly. So uh, they did a phenomenal job. Uh, their woodworking was obviously better than the van team's woodworking because we had pre-made cat. We ordered pre-made cabinetry, um, and that was a, a play, a game play on our. The, the pre-made cabinetry was offered to everybody, but we ordered pre-made because we knew that we weren't going to be able to do as well of a job as these guys did. So, um, but I guess our layout and design may have been better. Oh man, I can't say that stuff. I feel bad. I feel bad. I'm going to take a shower right now and get ready for Colorado Town House Festival because we got the gates opening any second now. That's the right height? I don't know, man. That's the right height. He's, he's literally doing this by eye right now. I built the whole house, dude. <laughs> uh, this is Drew, everybody, who's been on my channel from last year. Uh, up, he won Best in Show last Colorado Tiny House Festival, and then he followed it up with another Best in Show at People's Fest, which is another festival that usually happens right after Colorado. You don't want to not get voted on. Oh, thank you. See, he's getting his, his Best in Show piece right there. So we're going to get a quick little peek. Can I stand on this, bud? Yeah, man. The entire wall is a back wall. It's like an accent wall, but it comes down and it actually acts as a deck off the back. It's a really cool idea that Drew did. Uh, this is actually for sale. He's been, uh, he's, it's been up for sale for a little while. It's lost for bed area, a little climbing area, boom, boom, boom. Uh, another, you know, just living room area, kitchen. This is only a 16 foot tiny, which is a small footprint of a tiny, but he raked the walls is what he calls it. Bathroom, pretty sweet. And this is the, I guess, front door, but it's on the side. And like I said, it's only a 16 foot trailer. And what I mean by raking the walls is uh, he has it going up at an angle on either Instead side. An aggressive cantilever. That's a way you just get a few extra feet on either side that's without rad. having the right angles. And he's got 1200 watts of solar. So he's even facing the right way because it's facing south. Although we are in cloudy days today, but he'll still, still get a little bit of solar. Still producing. You'll still get solar. It's pretty Not sweet. In right now. You're not plugged in. Nope. He's actually one of the few tinies here at Colorado Tiny House Festival that is not plugged in. All of the tinies are on the edge because that's where all of the junction boxes are. That's where all the tinies have to be plugged into. So I know I'm building my tiny is fully off grid. He has built his off grid capable. Yes, it is easier to plug into grid, but we are trying to make these more off grid. There's his information right there for everybody. jclay.co.
halfway through the first day, like I said, I don't do a lot of filming during the festival and this is why. I don't know how many thousands of people are here, but we have a big turnout here. It's phenomenal. It's great so far. It's like two o'clock right now. The bus, the gutted bus is killing it. You know, I've been having a line out there this whole time. Um, I'm standing on top of flipping vans. Like you guys can see the grounds a lot better up here. It's freaking awesome. I wish everybody could come out and enjoy one of these events. You learn so much, you meet great people. Towards the end of day one, I'm here with Alaska from Tiny House Concierge. Concierge, Jared, concierge. you're so freaking fancy. I like it. Concierge, Con concierge. <laughs> concierge. Everyone's gonna think I'm based in, in Europe now. I know. Look at this line behind us, and it's all because of this gentleman and his wife, uh, Lawrence and Aria, and they have that beautiful tiny house that you guys designed. We worked with the original designer, rest in peace, Derek Gleason. Uh, we I have any of this. Full, yeah, there's a lot to the story. Yeah. Okay, well we're not going to tell it all right now. We're going to get you a separate video on that <laughs> on that tiny house over there. Yeah, because I'm sure there will be questions. Yeah, yeah, because look, guys, it elevates. It has. Yes. Is that how you? What would you say it does? I would say that that's the key feature of our home is that the roof lifts by three and a half feet, offers ample headroom upstairs, full ceiling heights, so you maximize your square footage on a small footprint. So stay tuned for a full-on video that I'm going to do with Wilderwise. Is that how you say it? Okay. Wilderwise. Yeah. Wilderwise. Obviously, I have a van channel, so I can't not put, you know, vans. Obviously, I'm going to show off one of the biggest, awesomest, I don't even know if that was a word, vans that I, uh, companies that I saw here at uh, Colorado Tiny House Festival. And I just did a video with them. And so you're going to get a full tour of the van that's behind me. But let's, this is their, what they call their basic build. Uh, it's absolutely amazing. Hi, Maddie. Hi. Um, but look at that. That thing is awesome. My bag's in here. They're all packing up because they all live here in town. So they don't have to camp here. They get to go home to their lovely homes. I'm not even going to show you that one because we're going to save that one for the tour. One of the coolest higher end vans that I've seen. Long day today. Lots of talking. But the weather held up. No rain. Hopefully it holds up tomorrow. And there won't be any rain. Got a couple videos in for you guys and me because I get to learn a lot as well. All right, guys, I can't really feature all that much during this vlog, but I figure I feature my boy Slim right here. This guy's the man right here. Talk to me about what you do here because this is pretty rad. Uh, is this a rental? This is a rental. This is a rental. What, yeah. What's the name of the company? So it's Wheels of Life. Based in Colorado? Correct. Littleton. Littleton, Colorado. And you can rent out the rig that we're standing in right now, which is a... So this is a Sprinter. Everything's power, no gas, no propane. Where can they rent it from? Wheels of Life, our website, or also Outdoorsy. Shout or out outdoors, to them. Yeah. sweet. Shout outs to them. Guys, I'm just gonna pan around here real quick. I mean, look at this. There's a lot of room. You can actually sleep. It looks like four, if not more, if you get really cozy with each other. So, where's the happy jack button? So, right up there, right in front of you. Open that cabinet. Open this one. Yep. Oh, there right it is. The yeah. Yep. I got you. Hit the down button. Look at that. Boom. Is there anything in my way now? Just gonna make sure, you know. Yeah, right, right. So it's a beautiful happy jack bed. Very nicely done by. Slim and his team at Wheels of Life. Right. Guys, you did a great job. You open this one up. It's got the uh, this, yep. this one right here. Yep. Woo! Yeah. You can set that up. You there set it up. Dip. Yeah. That's it. Or you can do outdoor cooking. I love portables for that reason. You can do outdoor cooking, indoor cooking, whatever. 
And the beautiful thing is he has got even seating for the four people. So this is a sleep four, seat four rental. Yep. Really nicely done, my man. There's a shower right here. Quality work. This is a shower right here. Lift it up, go ahead. Yeah, little look at that, huh? If you guys remember, probably not, but if you remember, I had a convertible shower just similar like this uh, in my second van, and I love that people are doing more and more of these. A lot more counter space, and you get uh, dual functioning, which is what we need to do in the van space. Well, check them out, Wheels of Life. Um, when I get back into Colorado, Slim and I are gonna hang out, get some more beers, and just kind of chill. Yeah, like his style, man. It is the morning or the next morning after the festivals. Festival is on Saturday, Sunday. This is Monday morning. Most people have left. Right now I am uploading a vlog via hotspot, which is rather slow and it takes me back to my van life days. I'm going to kind of finish up here, give you guys a look around at what's going on here. Artist and Josh, I'm gonna give him a shout out, but been friends with him a very long time a couple more vans here you know you guys can see the yurt is still here that's gonna take a minute to take down you know a couple tinies off there in the distance I think I put a shot of that tiny in there with the, the harsh slope right there that was actually a trailer made trailer tiny that is unbilt and the trailer why why is trailer made trailer important to me i ordered that trailer from that company and the frame kit and that is the shell of trailer made trailer they offer that but i didn't have them erected i'm going to build it myself but inside there is an exposed frame kit or that's what i'm gonna have not that style not that shell looking but it's mine's gonna be a different look to it it's a shed pitch but i didn't show arts sauna art is the coordinator of colorado tiny house fest he has a sauna and inside is that new EcoFlow all-in-one unit. And I should have showed that, but I, unfortunately I didn't. I just, you know what guys, I just ran out of time. And I have to drive back to good old Kansas City. Solid eight, nine hour drive in front of me. And then I get on an airplane, fly back to Boston. Busy time of year.